We're on this island. Now this island is 40 kilometers offshore. We needed a bloody cruise ship to bring us here. I've brought no food on this island, so whatever I catch, I'm gonna eat. I don't know if that's a good idea, but I know they catch Spanish mackerel, giant trevally, and massive coral trout. And you know what? I don't know what to expect on this island. We're just gonna fish, have fun, and I'm gonna bring you guys along for the journey. But first, let me show you how we made it to this island. Yeah, good. How about Cheers, mate. And any of your gear, yeah, you can put outside. Yeah. Or we have an inside storage area for your camera. All right, cheers. Thanks, bro. So Fitzroy Island is that big one there, and then on the left of it, it's a little fit, isn't it? On the little left of it, Fitzroy, yeah. little Fitzroy on the left of it. And I don't know what to expect today. You know, the captain just said he's going to pick us up, so we're going to go back at the harbour at 2:30. Tom and I are going to jump on the boat and go for a flick behind Little Fitz. We're going for it. Man. Oh. We've got to get something. We're 40 k's offshore. Please be careful in the sun and rehydrate regularly. See you later. Yeah. Nice meeting you. Yeah, well, see if you come back out now though. Hopefully, yeah. yeah. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. What's your name? Tori. Tori, nice to meet you, brother. Thank you so much. Let's take it off. All good. So we just made it to, well, the bag room. Because we don't get into our... So we've booked a room to stay in tonight. And it, you can only check in at like 3 o'clock or 2 o'clock? Uh, 3. So 3 o'clock. So in the meantime, we've got so much shit. But I feel like I'm leaving something at home. But I always feel like that when I go away. And I, then I realise I've got too much shit. We're going to leave it in here for the day. Take what we need to try to catch some fish. And then come back and then check into the hotel. So... Make sure you stay tuned for the hotel. So basically, I'm just going to bring you guys along for the journey. I'm just going to vlog the whole day, bring you along. I've never done anything like this before, so I don't know what to expect, but I am excited, boys. So we're making our way down to the beach now, and I can't believe how busy it is on this island. Beach is this way. Man, look how clear that water is. Oh, my God. Look at it. We're going to set up all the rods. We're gonna blow up this air mattress. We're gonna put all the rods and all our gear on the air mattress. We're gonna swim out to a rock. What's the rock called, bro? It's called bird shit. Bird shit rock. Um, we've got bait, so we're gonna start off with bait. We might flick a couple of lures. I'm excited. How far is the swim between this and that rock? So it's like, oh, it's about 80. 80, 80 meters? meters. But that's not, that's a, that's a pretty big hike, isn't it? Um, but yeah, we'll be all right. We'll get it, we'll get it done. I just can't believe like how beautiful it is here. We gotta catch something big today. Yeah, hopefully. You know what? If we don't, we don't, that's fishing boys. What do you do, yeah? This is just awesome. Oh there's so much like history on the island. Yeah. So if you actually do look into it. Um like it was an old leper colony, it's been like a farm as well. And it's also been like a reef farm. Really? It's, Heaps of stuff that's happened on this island. If you've ever been to Fitzroy Island, put down the comment section. Let me know if you've been here, if you've fished here, what fish you've caught. Yeah, I'll be interested to know. All right, we're almost to the beach. Set the rods up and then we're on, boys. There's a cement mixer there. Just take a second just to take all this in. Beautiful, so clear. I was excited before, but now Tom has just made my blood boil. And you wanna know why? Because he just said to me, these are the poppers that we're gonna be using. Man, this thing's bigger than my head, bro. Yeah, look at that one. We're gonna rig that one up with some hooks. What? 
So that dog there, that's going into production, that one as well. It swims that good. Look at it's been used, it's a bit beat up. Size but. of this thing, man. Tom, what are you doing to me? I'm pumped. Uh, I'm gonna do a piss, then we're gonna get this sorted. We're gonna rig up these rods. So if you want to know the rock that we're going to go to, we're going to get to that white rock there. I don't know if you can see it, but we're going to swim to it. Um, right, I'll get ready and then I'll see you soon. I don't know why I'm nervous at the moment. <sighs> Let's do it. Tom made a good point. He's like, let's not put a hole in this thing. Risky, eh? Why am I nervous? Just going there. I'm going to get Shit rock, eh? Yeah, just be careful, it's slippery. So that's bird shit. This is just a rock in front of it. Oh, yeah. That's is that... all bird shit, bro. Far out. This is awesome. All right, we're going to set up our rigs now. Hopefully, we can hear that rock scream. Thank you, God, for making us be safe. Thank you so far. Thank you. There's all little bait fish swimming around there. It's clear here. It's not that bad. Good. Uh, so, Tom just explained to me he's like, if we get a big GT, Stand on the oysters because that's where the grip is. Be careful of green shit because obviously you can slip. But let me just stand on these oysters. I want to get a feel of it. So when I'm fighting a GT, oh yeah, it can do tap. Yeah, you can do tap dancing on this and everything, man. This is sick. We've got a bit of grip. Look at this. Look where I am at the moment, man. Just have a look where we are. You got the old gloves going on? Yeah, look how worn out it is. Is that from fish? Everything. <laughs> you got left hand off. Oh, am I wearing so one? Cut your oh. hand when you're you, it. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, I only need one glove anyway. Feel like a professional right now. Mate, I just almost fell in the water, boys. So this is the first time actually, actually flicking this big of a lure and this big of a rod here, man. Oh, so I'm using this hand, aren't I? I'm right-handed. So you need to change it over? Don't worry about it. I'll just Man, I'm gonna get used to it, man. You can go further than that, yeah? That's fine. That's perfect. If you can get that distance, Just you're... Just casting, I'm, I'm right-handed. Yeah, okay. Is that swimming right? Yeah, so you want to slap it. Okay, harder than that. So you just sort of want to give it a bit of a slap, but not a real big jerk, like because... It, yeah, that's that's fine. As long as it's getting that little bubble trail, you don't want to work it too hard, because Ninja. it starts wearing you out. You should let the lure really do its, tr do its thing. How loose is that? You want to loosen it? No. How tight do you have it? Don't loosen. Yeah, le leave it locked up. Fuck, this is going to drag me in the water, bro. Yeah, when you hook it, just yank on really? the dog. Yeah, bro. There you go. Bit... Need more of a whip, yeah? Yeah. Wow. He's expecting me to cast like that. Look at the size of him. Trout up on the hard bit there as well, just don't. <laughs> Sorry. We've been flicking with these lures for about 10 minutes, nothing. We're gonna, we're gonna give it a break for like five minutes. What we're gonna do, we're gonna try and get some coral trout or a tusky or anything that will take bait or will take pilchards, really. So Tom's jumped on this rock here and I gotta follow him, I guess. You know, rock fishing, it looks easy. I've watched YouTubers do it, bro, but you know what? It is very nerve-wracking and hard, especially if you're not experienced like me. Like, 
my nerves are like always kicking in you know i'm thinking when i was popping that you know that big rod i'm thinking if something grabs his popper is it going to drag me in when i felt how tight the drag is so all them things come into play but that's what makes fishing and, and the adventure in life so much fun when you put yourself in uncomfortable situations and you give it a crack yeah even if you're not that good at it that's how you learn you become shit, but then you, you become good if you keep doing it so hopefully that's my case oh my god Man, I'm like, I'm shit scared of this sort of shit, man. No, it's I got it's kids to go home to, bro. It'll become second nature. If you fall in, your boat just graze yourself, bro, to be uh, honest. Look at the bait the fish boat. there, look at it all. Yeah, so they all sit current side. Yep. So you need to get it right in there, but the problem is they always try and run back under. But because you can't fish it from the other side, fishing down into it and pull them out, you've got to get them up super quick. Okay, so no, no, no messing anyway. around. They'll just brick you. No messing around, all right. Please. Catch me a fish. So try and keep a it. Big fish, please. Keep it like 10 meters off that ledge. You'll be on. Is that not enough? But I'm gonna drop it. Already, you've got to be. Oh, you snagged or you got a fish? Hey, right, first cast. Yeah, you can use this rod if you want that line. <sighs> now, you got cleaned up already. Yeah, I've got to fix my rod. I've got to, I've got to bait up, man, quickly. Let's see how long it takes him to get hit. I can't believe I just got. Bust it off. So I'll put it there. Uh, I should have waited for you, bro. I just get too excited, man. I just can't help myself. I'm gonna cast out. Oh, I'm getting snagged up now. Oh, you're snagged too. Maybe no sinker. Yeah, but it's it's drifting too much. Here we go. Last shot, man. So this is the third one now. Let's get him. If I catch coral trout, I'm gonna take it on the trip on the caravan. So when I cook up the coral trout in the van, I'll think about you, Tom. If you land one, bro. Trout. Oh no, stripey. Oh, there we go. Oh, a little hustle. So at least we got now some bait. Uh, I've moved locations. I've come up. Oh, I'm getting hit. Already. Oh, yeah. I dropped him talking to you, mate. You on? Oh, nice. What is it? Uh, That's all right. Good eating? Just on the gills, I got spines right there. You on? Oh, what's that? That's uh, a rank or a cod or a dog cod. Hold it up, is it good eating? Uh, yeah, they're really good eating actually. Like, I don't know if his size are. I've got a thing if you want to measure it. Yeah, we can have a look. Whoa, look at the size of this thing, man. Oh my god, look how beautiful it is. <laughs> it's they're beautiful, really good bro. <laughs> they're good eating. Yeah, I want to try it. Alright, let's bleed him and eat him, eh boys? You just poke your finger through and then he's bleeding. I've just moved to this same rock that Tom's on because he just landed a fish and I need to try to catch a fish, man. I haven't caught a fish in a while now. Oh, I got him. What is it? Rat fish? Yeah, tricky emperor. We'll keep him for cut bait. Oh. I'm off the mark, boys. I don't even know what this is. What is it? Just a, uh, like a grassy, uh, a tricky emperor. <laughs> Ooh. Yep. You on? Oh, stripey. <laughs> good hook up, man. So these are really good eating, but we'll let this fella go. He's a bit small. What's the size on them? Uh, I think they're 23 or 25 now. Right, oh, get his, come on. Oh, that's a trout, that's a trout. Set the hook though. That's a big trout. No, I didn't, he wasn't swallowing it. Did you see it? No. Nah. He's 60, easy. So just lob that bird away from your hang sense. Dude, that was a big trout. Get it back there, Ali. He's not that big. I stand your hook up, go hard. If he gets you in the reef. I'll dive in, get him out. Come on. Hey, got it! Yes, what is it? Oh, I think I pulled it. No! Bugger. Oh, I pulled the hook. <laughs> Got him. So it's coral trout, is it? No, it's a... Tomato cod. Oh, show me. Oh, that's a bomby cod. Oh, yeah, bomby cod. Holy fuck, there's a massive GT there. Right, look out, look out, look out, look out. Go, 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 go. Move too much, where'd you go, where'd you go? Do something, do something. Oh, bro, this is the left hand reel. See him, bro? Holy shit, he was big, I don't know. 
have been 40 kilos. I can't believe I just seen that. Look at the shark just swimming around. So the GT came, it came here and it just swam across. I can't believe how big he was. We see the massive shark. It wasn't that big, but he was fucking big. Do we get out of the water? Uh, sorry, Chuck man. this on there, fucking. Uh, we're at the resort now, the front of the resort. I've got the fish. We're gonna go see if they can give us our room key, so we can. I could put this fish back in the room. Can I come up there with the fish? You reckon? Or no? Yeah, walk through. See if I can hide it and walk it through here with the fish. <laughs> 326 is our room. Um, pretty keen to see what it looks like. Hopefully there's a fridge in there we can put this fish in, bro. There will be. Let me go and I'll open that one. Oh, oh shit. shit. Are we sharing a bed? Oh, what? We've just made it to the bar area. So waiting for Tom, he's gonna get something to eat. I've had no time to cook up that fish because the boat is coming, it's right there. I might cook up the fish when I, well, I'm gonna have to cook up the fish when I get back. I'm not gonna lie to you boys, I am hungry. Didn't have much luck on that rock, but you know what, like we always say boys, that's fishing. You just gotta go out, give it a crack and enjoy it and have fun and eventually the fish will come. On an island, seeing GTs with good people. Ah. You know what, if you're gonna do Fitzroy, definitely 100% put it on your to-do list and come out and do it, it's beautiful. So I reckon I flicked about, I don't know, 50 times. Casa Lua, nothing. We did see a school or something come past. I don't know what it was, about 15 of them. They look gray. Some type of a trevally, but I'm not sure what they were, so. All right, we've made it to our location, but seriously, check out this location, man. Like, sun's going down. Oh my god, look how white the meat is, bro. Mate, look at that fillet. Chuck it in there. Look at these pieces of meat. This is the Cody mix we're gonna use. Is this here? It's like, it's air fry stuff, but I don't know if it's any good. Bit of lemon first. I don't know if this is even gonna stick to it now. It feels like parmesan, bro. Rub that in. All right, we'll wait for it to warm up, eh, and see how it um, see how it tastes like. This is hot now, and we're gonna chuck the fish on, and we're gonna hear it sizzle, man. Oh, look at that. oh my god, that looks so freaking good. So I was filleting the fish before. Tom made a good point. He's like, bro, cut out the wings and eat the wings. And I said to him, no, nah, don't worry about the wings. It's all good. Then I realized I had the mango jack the other week and I had it full. You know, I, I put the whole thing on the pan full and I ate everything. So yes, cut the wings for sure. Just let it sit like that. I think these are ready, you reckon? They're done, yeah. Are these already, boys? Yeah, it's almost full. Cheers to Tom, man, because Tom's the one that caught this thing. You know what? I still haven't caught a friggin' fish on this trip for me to eat and say, you know what? I caught this fish. This is a treat to me. But no, Tom's nice enough to say, you know what, mate? You can take the fish. So cheers, bro. Look at that.
Good oh egg. my god, and you don't want any? Nah, you hook in. Oh my god, what does it taste like? I'm trying to describe it. Thank god you told me to keep it. I said to him, throw it back, don't worry about it. He's like, bro, if you know it's good for you, try this fish. Man, that's probably better than cold trout. Yeah, it shits on it. Uh, it's called a cattle dog cod to like the locals around here, but. Put this on your bucket list, boys. Get down the cans and catch one of these cods and eat it. Oh, mate. Beautiful. Oh, I didn't say to the fish. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh. I don't know if you can see that, boys, but the sun's coming up. We're just waiting for this ship now to come. We're gonna go on the ship and head back. It was a sick trip. I enjoyed every second of it. But you know what? All good things must come to an end, boys. But that doesn't mean you can't create you can't keep creating good things. So get out there, plan your next adventure. If you're thinking about coming to Cairns, come to Fitzroy, uh, Fitzroy Islands. Just keep in mind, you can't spear at the front of the island. You gotta go like at the back of it. Um, but put this on your bucket list. Get out there, go for a fish, go for a snorkel. Have your dinner in there and just enjoy it. Still didn't catch any fish to eat. Lucky Tom came. Tom's very disappointed. He's like, bro, I didn't catch any. F we got donuts, man. He kept saying donuts, donuts. I said, Tom, real men? Get donuts, bro. Enjoy it, have fun, that's fishing, and look after yourself, and I'll see you next week.